Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm the Biotech Girl and in the next few minutes you will find out about DNA damage and DNA repair. You can subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so you don't miss out on my future videos. As you already know, the DNA is the fundamental molecule that determines our characteristics with its sequence. This means that in case the DNA sequence changes, which is popularly known as a mutation, our characteristics may also change. However, since most of our DNA does not code for a functional product, the changes in the sequence often go unnoticed. If in fact the sequence changes within the location of a gene, it may lead to a few types of mutations. Depending on the impact that the mutation has, there are gene mutations which only affect one gene, and chromosome mutations which can affect the DNA on a much larger scale and affect multiple genes. These are several subtypes of each that we will cover next. The first subtype is called a point mutation. As the name suggests, it only affects one nitrogenous base of the DNA sequence. In this example, the sequence AACTTGAG changed into AAATTGAG. So the cytosine got replaced with adenine. On the other hand, frame shift mutation occurs when nucleotides are added or deleted from the sequence of a gene. In this case, the AC gets removed from the DNA sequence and will not be passed on to the RNA nor the protein sequence. The frame shift refers to the reading frame of three successive nucleotides within the RNA molecule, which get translated to a particular amino acid from the protein. In this example, the removal of the two nucleotides changes the reading frame and creates a so-called stop codon, which prevents the production of a complete protein from the RNA. The chromosomal mutations affect the DNA on a larger scale. In the case of deletion, a part of the chromosome is deleted, so this genetic material is lost. In the case of inversion, a portion of the chromosome is flipped or inverted. The genes are still preserved, however, their expression may be affected. In the case of duplication, a section of the chromosome gets doubled, which may result in higher expression of these genes. And in translocation, a part of one chromosome joins another chromosome, which also affects the gene expression. Generally, there are two types of repair in case of DNA damage. A single strand repair, in which the mutation affects only one strand of the DNA, and a double strand in which both strands are affected. The single strand repair may include base excision, nucleotide excision, or a mismatch repair. The base excision occurs when an incorrect nitrogenous base is found within the DNA sequence. This repair mechanism involves the removal of the incorrect base and the addition of the correct one, which will be complementary to the nitrogenous base of the neighboring DNA strand. The nucleotide excision is similar, with the difference being that the entire nucleotide gets removed and replaced with the correct one, so not only the nitrogenous base, but also one sugar and phosphate get removed and replaced. In the case of mismatch repair, after the incorrect base is recognized, a section of the DNA sequence is removed and replaced with the correct one. Now let's get to the double strand repairs. There are two types, non-homologous end joining and homology directed repair. Let's see what this means in the following two slides. In the case of non-homologous end joining, the cell attempts to rejoin the two DNA strands without using a template DNA. Due to the lack of a template DNA and the double strand breakage, some nucleotides may be lost if the strands are not fully complementary. In the case of homology-directed repair, a complementary or homologous DNA molecule serves as a template to help accurately repair the double strand break. To summarize, we distinguish gene mutations and chromosomal mutations. The gene mutation of a single nucleotide is called point mutation, and in case the mutation causes changes in the reading frame of a gene, it is called a frame shift mutation. The chromosome mutation can lead to deleted sections of the chromosome, inverted sections, duplication of a section of the chromosome, or transfer of a section to another chromosome. The repair of the DNA damage can involve one or both strands of the DNA molecule. The single strand repair can include the removal of a base, the removal of a nucleotide, or removal of a section of one strand. The double strand can be repaired with or without using another homologous DNA molecule as a template, so we can differentiate non-homologous end joining or homology-directed repair. 
I hope you learned something new today. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.